there's no fail. Let's go. Seem like life go light and speed. Slow it on down, baby, just to breathe. It's cold outside, I just sleep. Got here late, like just to leave. Wings on my shirt, and I cannot fly. Asked to I love her, but I cannot lie. Open up the door, like can I ride? Heart made of stone, I cannot cry. Hand on the glass, I can feel the rain. You don't wanna fight, not feel your pain. But I gotta go hard, gotta go far. That don't mean that we gotta fall apart. I'ma stand tall for all of us. Cause fade on the phone and we calling us. We came from the ground and we calling up. You can feel it in your fist when you brought it up. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the first edition of SmackDown after WrestleMania. I must say, WrestleMania was absolutely incredible this past weekend. We are coming to you from Hershey, Pennsylvania for this edition of SmackDown here tonight. And we're going to kick the night off with the WWE Champion, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table. Roman Reigns on night one of Wrestlemania Roman Reigns would defeat Seth Rollins in a last man standing loser leaves Smackdown match for the WWE Championship that match was absolutely incredible that was perhaps the best last man standing match I've ever seen but Seth Rollins would lose that match. And now Seth Rollins is no longer on SmackDown. Rollins is on Raw. Roman Reigns is still our WWE Champion. And coming from here, I don't think the fans are too pleased with that. Since Clash of Champions, Roman Reigns has been a very dominant WWE Champion Roman Reigns has really taken over SmackDown this is really his show and Roman Reigns is getting booed out of the building tonight I guess this is post WrestleMania atmosphere Roman Reigns has picked up a mic. Let's see what Roman has to say. WrestleMania this past weekend. I did what I said I was going to do. I made Seth Rollins acknowledge me as the tribal chief. And I am going to make every single superstar on this SmackDown roster acknowledge me as their tribal chief as well now I know in the WWE draft we have some new superstars here on Smackdown but guess what I'm still the top dog I'm still the head of the table and I am still the WWE champion and I will be the WWE champion for a long long time as I stated earlier I'm not a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. I am the guy. Since Clash of Champions, I have proven to each of you all that I am the guy and I am not slowing down anytime soon. I might just be the WWE Champion forever. I am going to reign on SmackDown forever and ever. Wait a minute. Here comes one of our newest members of the SmackDown roster, Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, lights just went out. There's Nakamura right there. Well, that was a very interesting entrance. Roman, Roman, Roman. You might not notice, but at WrestleMania, I won. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And that means I could get a title opportunity of my choice. And I have chosen to go after you and your WWE Championship. And I will be the next WWE Champion here on SmackDown. Man, you just made me laugh. What makes you think that you can defeat me? 
What makes you think that you could dethrone the head of the table? What makes you think that Shinsuke Nakamura stands a chance at beating Roman Reigns? Roman, you might not know a lot about me. I am a former NXT champion, a former United States champion, but I have never held that WWE championship. That championship has eluded me here in the WWE. And that Backlash, which will be the first ever SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view in this Universe Mode series, I challenge you to a match for the WWE Championship. Challenge accepted. Because at Backlash, you're going to get the same treatment Seth Rollins got at WrestleMania. I'm going to make you acknowledge me as your tribal chief. I am going to make you bow down to the head of the table. You will become my peasant at the Backlash pay-per-view when I spear you in half. Well, from the looks of it, you're underestimating me. My Roman at Backlash, when I defeat you, I am going to bring the WWE Championship home for all of these fans. And I will become WWE Champion. And you will no longer be the head of the table. You're going to have to bow down to me and acknowledge me as the WWE Champion. I'm not going to acknowledge you as nothing. But at Backlash Shinsuke, you're going to acknowledge me. As you're a tribal chief, and you will bow down to me. And Roman Reigns just hit Shinsuke Nakamura. And Roman with a wicked shoulder tackle to Shinsuke. Now Shinsuke with a jawbreaker. And there's a kick, but Roman Reigns did not go down. Roman went for a boot that was countered. Now Shinsuke Nakamura with a Russian leg sweep taking down Roman Reigns. One for a kick with Shinsuke. And now Roman Reigns with an electric chair. And Shinsuke kicking Roman off. Now Shinsuke picking up Roman. Oh, what a clothesline by Roman Reigns. One for a right hand with Roman that was countered with a kick by Shinsuke. Now Shinsuke with an STL takedown. Roman back up. And Roman with an STL takedown. And now Roman Reigns with a wicked clothesline to Shinsuke Nakamura. My goodness. We are back here on SmackDown. And folks, it is official. At the Backlash pay-per-view in three weeks time, the WWE Championship will be defended as Shinsuke Nakamura goes one-on-one -on -one with the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns with the WWE Championship hanging in the balance. What a matchup that is going to be. And also, ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening has just been confirmed as Shinsuke Nakamura will battle Jimmy Uso. But ladies and gentlemen, our first match of the night will be some women's action as Sonya Deville is in action against Peyton Royce. I must say at WrestleMania this past weekend, Fire and Desire's performance in the Fatal 4 Way Tag Team match was absolutely amazing. If I'm not mistaken, Mandy Rose will eliminate three women from that match. But Peyton Royce will eliminate Mandy Rose. And it came down to Sonya Deville and Peyton Royce. Sonya Deville hit the kick. On Peyton Royce, but Royce kicked out. But then Royce took advantage with that fisherman suplex on Sonya Deville and pinned Sonya Deville 1 2 3. So, therefore, the Iconics became the inaugural women's tag team champions. And speaking of the Iconics, here they come Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. 
accompanied by Billy Kay, representing the Iconics. From Sydney, Australia, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions, Peyton Royce. These two ladies are our inaugural Women's Tag Team Champions. They made history at WrestleMania here in Universe Mode. Becoming the first ever women's tag team champions. But we have a good bit of women's tag teams here in WWE. And trust me, the Iconics have a huge target on their back. I know Sonya Deville can't wait to get her hands on Peyton Royce. Our first match of the evening here tonight between Sonya Deville and Peyton Royce. Referees Deville and here we go. These two locking up. Peyton Royce going after that arm. Oh man. Going right to the shoulder there. Now Royce has that arm wrapped good. Oh man now Deville with a counter. Now Deville has that arm. Now DeVille was wrenching on that arm. Went for a strike that was countered by Peyton Royce. Over the top will go Sonya DeVille. There's a strike by DeVille. Now DeVille coming back in. There's a counter by Royce. And Royce with a clothesline over the top rope. Oh, what a form by Sonya DeVille. Uh, don't do this song. No. Oh, man. Face first off the steel steps goes Peyton Royce. And then back into the ring goes Peyton Royce. Now DeVille with a knee right to the back. Oh, wait a minute. There's a counter by Peyton Royce. Now Peyton Royce. Hurricane Rana. Shoulders down here. That's two. Oh, but Sonya Deville able to kick out of two. Oh, man, what a strike right to the back. And there's a knee. Went for a kick that was counted by Sonya. Now Sonya going after that knee. There's a strike. Oh, man, Sonya Deville. Oh, man, decapitator. That was a forearm by Peyton Royce. Now Peyton Royce with a cross body. Into the cover here. That's two. Oh, but Sonya Deville able to get that shoulder up at two. Oh, man. Nobody home for Peyton Royce. And there's a back suplex by Sonya Deville. Now Deville gonna taunt. Look for a kick. That was kind of by Peyton Royce. Oh my goodness, what a form, but Sonya Deville still up. Now, oh man, Peyton Royce, I think, was going for the Hurricane Rana again, but Sonya Deville countered. Oh man. Now, arm bar. Is Peyton Royce going to tap out to Sonya Deville's arm bar here tonight on SmackDown? What a big victory this could be for Sonya Deville if she could knock off one half. Of the women's tag team champions. But Peyton Royce fights out of it. Oh what a form. At that time Sonya Deville went down. Now Deville using the ropes to pull herself up. There's a kick. There's a counter. Oh man Deville went for that kick. But it was counter. Wait a minute Peyton Royce. Looking to take advantage. There's one suplex. There's another suplex. And Peyton Royce executes the third one. That's the Venus fly trap. Into the cover. Oh, but DeVille somehow got the shoulder up at two. A near fall for Peyton Royce. And now Peyton Royce with that split. 
into the cover. And that's two. Oh, but DeVille getting that shoulder up at two. And now Peyton Royce starting to get frustrated. Now Royce has DeVille up. And now Peyton Royce just stretching Sonya DeVille. Now Royce has a hold of DeVille. Throws into the corner. Oh, what a kick. And another kick. My goodness. And there's a drop kick to the back. What a combination. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Sonya DeVille kicks out at two again. Now Peyton Royce going to the top rope. Peyton Royce calling for DeVille to get back to her feet. Peyton Royce crossbody. No, Sonya DeVille caught Peyton Royce. And DeVille with a body slam. And there's a kick right to the back. There's another counter. And now Peyton Royce with a backslide. That's two. Oh, but Sonya DeVille. Gets that shoulder up at two. There's a strike. Another strike to DeVille. Another one that back DeVille. Onto the ropes. And over the top rope goes Peyton Royce. Man, the Rose just looking at Peyton Royce. Now Peyton Royce is back in. Oh, man. Arm bar. Is Royce going to tap out? Is Peyton Royce going to tap out the sign of his arm bar? Peyton Royce is in pain. Peyton Royce is in pain. Well, and Peyton Royce fighting out of it. Oh, man, what a spinning heel kick. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, a near fall. I thought that spinning heel kick was going to do it. Now Peyton Royce again with that split. But she doesn't go for the cover this time. Now Peyton Royce going to taunt Sonya Deville. Now Peyton Royce picks up Sonya Deville. And now Peyton Royce with the fisherman suplex. Into the cover. That's two, three. No, Deville somehow got the shoulder up at two. That's how Peyton Royce beat Sonya Deville at WrestleMania. Sonya Deville somehow kicked out. There's a kick. Now Perry was supposed to look for a power bomb. But wait a minute, Sonya Deville. Roll up here, shoulders down. One, two, three. Sonya stole it. Sonya stole it. Sonya Deville gets the victory. She stole it. Sonya Deville beat Peyton Royce. But folks, what a great match between Peyton Royce and Sonya Deville here. Sonya Deville definitely showed some resiliency tonight. Because I thought for sure that Fisherman Suplex would have did the trick. But Sonya Deville somehow kicked out. This is a big victory for Sonya. Defeating one half of the women's tag team champions. That could have put fire and desire in line for a future women's tag team title shot. Well, folks, congrats to Sonya Deville on defeating Peyton Royce here tonight on SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we're going to have one heck of a match as Finn Balor takes on the brand new Intercontinental Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. And here comes... The new Intercontinental Champion, Randy Orton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds. The Intercontinental Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. 
on night one of WrestleMania, Randy Orton would capture the Intercontinental Championship. It was a triple threat match between him, Keith Lee, and the champion at the time, Drew McIntyre. Randy Orton would pin Keith Lee to win the Intercontinental Championship. The champion, Drew McIntyre, was never pinned. Brand new and is glad to be Intercontinental Champion again. Brand new and a former WWE Champion back in Season 2. And now here in Season 4, he is Intercontinental Champion. Randy Orton and Finn Balor had a great matchup back at the SummerSlam pay-per-view last season. They also went one-on-one -on -one about a couple months ago. But The Undertaker interfered in that match. Chokeslam Finn Balor. And that put out Balor for the 1-2-3. Now speaking of Balor, here he comes. The Prince. This past weekend, on night two of WrestleMania, Finn Balor would defeat The Undertaker. Or should I say the Demon defeated The Undertaker. And there is Finn Balor right there. The Prince. Back in season two, at one point in time, Finn Balor and Randy Orton were the top champions of their brand. Back in season two, Finn Balor was on Raw until he was shaking up the SmackDown after SummerSlam. But at one point in time, Balor was the Universal Champion in season two, and Randy Orton was the WWE Champion in season two. They were champions at the same time. Finn Balor looking to get some revenge on Randy Orton tonight. Randy Orton beat Finn Balor, as I stated earlier, about a couple months ago when The Undertaker interfered in that match. It's a big opportunity for Finn Balor as well to face the Intercontinental Champion Randy Orton. Coming from me, Randy Orton knows that Drew McIntyre will be invoking his rematch clause sooner or later for that Intercontinental Championship. Randy Orton, Finn Balor, fans behind Finn Balor here tonight. Referee Balor, here we go. These two locking up. There's a hell out of Balor. Now Balor has that arm. And Balor taking down Randy Orton. This is Randy Orton's first match since winning the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. And there's a strike by Orton. And there's a kick by Balor. And there's a kick and Balor playing Orton with a DDT into the cover. Oh, only a one count on the Viper. It's going to take more than a DDT to put down Orton. And now Randy Orton. With a float of a neck breaker, no Balor counter with a neck breaker of his own. And there's a kick right to the back. Now Balor to the middle rope. And Balor with a splash right to the back of Orton. That was about halfway across the ring as Orton was playing possum there. And now Orton just slamming that knee of Balor right down to the mat. And Randy Orton again slamming that knee of Balor down to the mat. Now Orton with the Olympic slam on Balor. There's a counter by Balor. And now Finn Balor taking down Randy Orton. Kick right to the back. 
Oh man, what a kind of a Randy Orton. Oh my goodness! But Balor kicked up! That's a counter by Balor. Now a fan Balor with a flood over DDT to Orton. Folks, so far what a match this has been hitting out on SmackDown. There's a chocolate Balor. Now Balor off the ropes. Drop kick to the side of the head. Into the covers, Balor. That's two. Oh, but Randy Orton able to kick out at two. Went for a strike that was kind of a baller. Now Orton with a strike. And Orton with an uppercut. There's a counter by Balor. Now Finn Balor with a body slam to Randy Orton. Now Balor picking up Orton. Oh, went for a strike. Orton countered it. Oh, what a counter by Balor. That's a strike by Balor. And now Finn Balor has a hold of Randy Orton. Puts Orton in the corner. Irish right, trip to the opposite corner. And Balor, shotgun drop kick into the corner. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Randy Orton kicks out at two. Wait a minute, Balor has that arm of Randy Orton. Well, Orton with a wicked elbow to Balor. And now Randy Orton looking to take advantage. I know what Orton's going for. Randy Orton looking for that elevated spike DDT. And he gets it. That's vintage Orton. Now Orton into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Balor kicks out at two. Oh, what a headbutt by Orton. That's a strike by Balor. Another strike by Balor. That's a counter by Orton. Now Orton looking for the RKO. Balor counter. And now Balor with a drop kick. Now Balor going to the top rope. Could Balor be looking for the end? Finn Balor with the coup de grace to Randy Orton. Answer the cover. One. Two. Three. No. Orton kicked out. Orton somehow survived the coup de gras. Battling for a strike. That was counted by Orton. Now Randy Orton. He's going to look for it again. Randy Orton for the second time in this match. Is he going to hit it? Yes he is. Randy Orton gets that elevated spike DDT. Answer the cover is Orton. That's two. Oh, with Balor. I guess the shoulder off the mat at the count of two. Another near fall for the Intercontinental Champion. He has a kick right to the back of the knee. And again, Balor taking down Wharton. And Randy Orton wisely rolling to the outside of the ring. Oh, what a strike by Wharton. That's a strike by Balor. Now Balor puts Orton back into the ring. Now Balor calling for Orton to get back to his feet. Balor springboard. Wait a minute. Orton with an RKO. What an RKO by Orton. My goodness. That was one of the best RKOs I've ever seen. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Balor somehow got the shoulder up at two. My goodness. What an RKO by Orton. Now that was an RKO out of nowhere. Olympic slam by Randy. There's a kick. Now Orton looking for a power bomb, but wait a minute. Fan Balor rolling up Orton. Shoulders down. One. Oh, only a one count. That's how our last match just ended between Peyton Royce and Sonya Deville. Ended with a roll up. Irish whip. And there's a sling blade by Balor. Now Balor to the top rope. Finn Balor with the coup de grace to Randy Orton. For the second time in this match. Oh, but Orton just barely got the shoulder up. How did Orton kick out of the coup de grace again?
That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh man, if Van Balor can't pick up Randy Orton. And there's an uppercut by Orton. There's a kind of a Balor. And now Balor with a bulldog. And folks, Randy Orton is busted open. And Balor with a splash. There's a body slam. And Randy Orton wisely rolls it outside of the ring with Balor on the top rope. Orton getting up. And Finn Balor with a missile drop kick to the outside of the ring, taking out Orton. The referee starts his count. And now Balor puts Orton back into the ring. Went for a strike that was countered. And that back Finn Balor into the corner. Now Orton picking up Balor. Oh man, folks, this can't be good. As a strike by Orton. Oh man, these took down the top rope. Randy Orton, a superplex to Balor. What a superplex by Orton. Into the cover is Orton. That's two. Oh, but Balor just barely getting the shoulder up. How much more fight does Finn Balor have left in him? That's a drop kick by Orton. And Finn Balor's the one who rolls to the outside of the ring this time. And into the barricade. And now Randy Orton has Finn Balor up. Oh, man. And face first off the barricade goes Balor. And folks, Balor's now busted open. Back into the ring goes Finn Balor. And there's a knee by Orton. And folks, this is where Randy Orton is most dangerous. Oh, went for a kick. Balor countered it. And now Balor with a strike and down goes Orton. Oh, man, what a knee by Randy Orton. There's a kick by Balor. And there's a knee by Orton. And there's a drop kick by Randy. There's a strike by Balor. Balor with a kick. Now Balor going for a power bomb, but he can't lift Orton. And Orton with a counter. The Balor just countered that strike. Went for a kick. Orton spins Balor around. And Orton, RKO to Balor. Picture perfect. One, two, three. How? Finn Balor kicked out of the RKO again. Folks, this match right here might be better than a SummerSlam match. Now, Balor with some punches to the gut of Randy Orton. And Balor with a flatliner. Double foot stomp right to the gut. Kick to the chest. Now, Randy Orton caught that leg. And Orton with a dragon screw. Now Randy Orton gonna taunt as Finn Balor makes it back to his feet. And there's a clothesline by Orton. Another clothesline. Now Randy Orton. Power slam to Balor. Now Randy Orton gonna taunt Finn Balor saying bring it. Oh what a strike there by Balor. There's a counter by Orton. And Orton. RKO to Balor. Into the cover. One, two, three. Randy Orton defeats Finn Balor. Hit it on a SmackDown. Folks, what a match. What a match. That match did not disappoint. That match was possibly better than their SummerSlam match. Look at that blood on the side of Randy Orton's head. And wait a minute. Oh, come on, Randy. You already won a match. You already won a match, Randy. This doesn't make any sense. Referee trying to get in. Oh, come on now. Ref, you're pointless. My goodness. Randy Orton just attacking Finn Balor. Why, Randy? Why? We're back here tonight on SmackDown here on in Hershey, Pennsylvania. 
Oh, wait a minute. Is he here? Is he here tonight on the blue brand? Yes, he is. It's John Cena. The former United States champion. This past weekend on night two of WrestleMania, John Cena defended the United States Championship against Adam Cole, but unfortunately John Cena will be on the losing end of that match. Adam Cole will be the first man to defeat John Cena on pay-per-view last season. And Adam Cole is on Raw, and Cena's on SmackDown, so Cena won't be getting a rematch for that United States title anytime soon. John Cena, one of our newest members of the SmackDown roster here. John Cena will hold the United States Championship for 322 days last season. Last time John Cena was a member of the SmackDown roster was back in Season 1. It's good to see John Cena back here on SmackDown. John Cena has grabbed the mic. Let's see what John Cena has to say. Folks, it feels good to be back here on the blue brand. You see, I always say SmackDown is my home because when I debuted here in the WWE in 2002, I debuted on SmackDown. So that is why SmackDown always holds a very special place in my heart. You guys, the WWE Universe, Hold a special place in my heart. Even though I came up short at WrestleMania, I know you guys still support me. And even though I won't be getting my rematch for the United States Championship because Adam Cole is still on Raw, mark my words, I am going to work my way up the rankings and I will become the WWE Champion here on the Blue Brand. Now, I know Roman Reigns might be the head of the table. I know Randy Orton might be the Intercontinental Champion. I know I might be new around here to SmackDown. Because I haven't been on SmackDown since Season 1. But I will be champion because I am going to work for it. Mark my words. But wait a minute. Here comes one of our newest members of the SmackDown roster as well. Here comes the almighty Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley making his way up the ring steps to get into the ring to confront John Cena. I don't know why Bobby Lashley's out here. Look at the physique on Lashley. My goodness. Look at this stare down. Cena and Lashley in the same ring here tonight on SmackDown. Lashley has picked up a mic. Let's see what the Almighty has to say. John, shut up. Shut up. Don't say another word into that microphone. John Cena, if I'm being real, you shouldn't even be out here right now. All you're doing is just taking the spotlight from other superstars. And I tell you what, John, I'm out here to do something about it. Well, if you're out here to do something about it, then I'd be more than happy to throw some fists with you, Bobby. I mean, like I've beaten you in the past, and I'll beat you again here tonight. We can go right here, right now in front of all of these fans here tonight on SmackDown. But that's if you're not scared to lose again to John Cena. John, for too long on Raw last season, I sat back watching you dominate the entire roster. All you did was bury superstar after superstar after superstar, but I'm tired of it. I'm not taking it here on SmackDown. I have come out here to teach you a lesson, and that lesson is going to be in pain. Well, Bobby, if you're looking for a fight, then we can fight right here, right now. You can spear me in half, 
You can do whatever you want. You can lock me in a hurt lock. I don't care. But I'm going to dig down deep and do what I do best. And that is win, win, win. John, last time you and I went one-on-one -on -one was last season when I accepted your challenge for the United States Championship on Raw. And I tell you what, you got lucky in that match. Well, you're not going to get lucky when we face off. Because, John Cena, if you're a fighting man, I challenge you to a match in three weeks at the Backlash pay-per-view. Music to my ears, Bobby. I accept your challenge for the Backlash pay-per-view. And I guarantee you, at Backlash in three weeks, I am going to show you why I was the United States Champion for 322 days. And I am going to show you why I am one of the greatest superstars of all time. John? Backlash will be our last time seeing you. Because I am going to hurt you so bad that you're not going to want to come back to SmackDown. You're not going to want to step foot in a ring after I'm done with you at the Backlash pay-per-view. So make Backlash your last WWE match. My last match? You think my last match is going to be a Backlash? Well, Bobby, think again. Because I'm going to be around here for a long, long time. And as soon as that struck Lashley, now Lashley getting up. And Cena would have struck to Bobby. And Cena taking it to Lashley. Oh, but Lashley would have struck to Cena. Irish whip. There's a knee by Cena. Cena with a jab. Another strike by Cena. And now Cena. Belly to belly to Lashley. Now Lashley back up. Oh, what a kick. That is back Cena into the corner. And now Cena's down. The folks just ain't good for Cena. Oh my goodness. Lashley's just slamming Cena right down to the mat. Oh my god. Oh man. Face first goes Cena. And again. Lashley's just planting Cena. There's a stomp. No. And now Lashley with a gut wrench to Cena. And folks, Bobby Lashley is. Destroying John Cena. Oh man, a gut buster to Cena. Man, when was the last time Cena was dominated like this? As Lashley just slams him down. And there's a clothesline by Bobby Lashley. My goodness. Lashley being vicious tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all back to SmackDown. And folks, it has been confirmed that at the Backlash pay-per-view in three weeks' time, John Cena will do battle with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Folks, what a matchup that is going to be at Backlash in three weeks. It is time for some more women's action here on the SmackDown brand. As here comes a veteran in that ring, a former women's champion, Mickie James. Mickey James, one of our newest members here on SmackDown. Back in season two, Mickey James won the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And she would cash that briefcase in on Oscar and become the SmackDown Women's Champion in the SmackDown after SummerSlam. Even though Mickey James only held the title for 12 days before losing it to Oscar. She can say that she has been a SmackDown Women's Champion. Mickey James has a big opportunity tonight as she faces her former best friend, the new SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. And here she comes, five feet of fury, Little Miss Bliss.
on night one of WrestleMania, Alexa Bliss would capture the SmackDown Women's Championship. It was a triple threat match between her, Emma Moon, and the champion at the time, Paige. Alexa Bliss would pin Ember Moon. So Paige was never pinned to lose the title. But that doesn't matter. The rules of a triple threat. You don't have to be pinned to lose the title. So Alexa Bliss is our new SmackDown Women's Champion. Mickey James. Alexa Bliss. Referee reigns the bell and here we go. Mickey and Alexa locking up here. Alexa Bliss slamming Mickey James. Oh, what a strike to Mickey. Now it's Mickey James slamming Alexa Bliss. Now Alexa with a headlock on Mickey James. There's a punch by Alexa. And another punch to Mickey James. And there's a neck breaker by Alexa Bliss. There's a kick by Mickey James. And Mickey James taking down Alexa Bliss. Oh, wait a minute. There's a counter by Alexa Bliss. And Alexa Bliss with a hurricane runner to Mickey. But well, wait a minute. Is Paige here? Is the former SmackDown Women's Champion here? Alexa was looking towards the entrance way. Wait a minute, Alexa turns around. There's Paige right there. Paige is in the ring. Rampage to Alexa. The rampage to Alexa Bliss. Mickey James into the cover. One, two, three. Oh, but wait a minute, Bliss got the shoulder up at two. Bliss barely got the shoulder up at two. But folks, the damage has already been done. Now Mickey James wrenching on that head of Alexa Bliss. Now Mickey James to the middle rope. And Mickey with a splash to Alexa Bliss. But wait a minute, Alexa Bliss playing possum. Oh, man, what an elbow right to that knee. There's a counter by Mickey James. Now Mickey James with a crucifix. Shoulders down here. That's two. Oh, but Alexa Bliss able to get that shoulder up at two. Oh, what a kick right to the gut. Oh, what an elbow by Alexa Bliss. And Alexa Bliss with a clothesline. There's a counter of Mickey James. And Mickey James with a jockey to Alexa. Now Alexa using the ropes to pour herself up. Now what is this? Mickey James. Oh man, look at this. Oh, what a bulldog. My goodness. It's a cover. That's two. Oh, but Alexa Bliss just barely kicking out. Wait a minute, there's a counter by Alexa. And Alexa with a neck breaker to Mickey James. Now Mickey using the ropes to pull herself up. Oh man, Alexa Bliss with a decapitator. Now Bliss with insult to injury. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but a kick out of two by Mickey James. Alexa Bliss with a look of disbelief on her face. There's a counter by Mickey James. And Mickey James with a mid kick. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Alexa Bliss. Kicks out at two. Near fall after near fall here. This is locking up here. And Alexa pushes Mickey away. 
And Alexa Bliss with a Samoan drop. Now Alexa Bliss heading to the top rope. Mickey James kicks up. And Mickey James stops Alexa Bliss dead in her tracks. And now Mickey James with a hurricane runner from the top. Now Mickey James picking up Alexa. Going after the arm of Alexa Bliss here. Oh, but Alexa Bliss with an elbow to Mickey. Now Alexa Bliss with a DDT to Mickey. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, a kick out of two by Mickey James. Alexa Bliss can't believe it. There's an arm drag by Mickey. Now Mickey with a kick. Now Mickey James with the Mick DDT. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Alexa got the shoulder up. Folks, Mickey James is frustrated. Mickey James can't believe Alexa Bliss kicked out of that. What an elbow to Alexa. Another strike. That's a counter by Alexa. And Alexa with a forearm. And down goes Mickey James. And wait a minute, Alexa. She has a foot on the rope, ref. She has a feet on the rope. But Mickey James had to kick out of two. And there's another forearm. Knocking Mickey out cold. And folks, that could very well be it. That's two. Oh, but Mickey James barely got the shoulder up. Now Alexa Bliss with insult to injury again. Into the cover is Alexa. That's two. Oh, but another kick out of Mickey James. Wait a minute. Mickey James is on elbows right to the side of Alexa Bliss's head. There's a knee. And folks, Alexa stunned. And there's a mid kick. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Alexa again kicking out. Mickey James doesn't know what she has to do to put Alexa down. And at this point in the match, I don't know what she has to do either. Alexa spins Mickey around. Oh, what a strike. Now Alexa dragging Mickey James. And maybe Alexa Bliss having second thoughts about going to the top rope. As she loses a kick right to the back of Mickey James. And there's a forearm to Mickey. There's a counter by Mickey. Mickey with a kick. Uh-oh, well, wait a minute, Alexa Bliss. Oh, what a punch by Alexa. There's a knee by Alexa. Oh, man. Oh, but Alexa Bliss dropped down to a knee. And, folks, that could have possibly just cost Alexa Bliss the matchup here if Mickey James can take advantage. Now, Mickey James with a body slam. Now, Mickey James going to taunt. Wait a minute. Alexa Bliss with a counter. Now Alexa. Dragging Mickey James. Now Alexa Bliss could be looking for the finish. Alexa Bliss to the top. Alexa twisted Bliss to Mickey James. One, two, three. Folks, Alexa Bliss defeats Mickey James. And now Alexa Bliss is laughing. Alexa Bliss able to defeat Mickey James tonight. My vote's coming for me. Paige wants that SmackDown Women's title back. Because Paige had a rampage earlier in this match. While the ref wasn't looking. But Alexa Bliss is able to kick out of it. But this is a great matchup nonetheless. Between Mickey James and Alexa Bliss. Here tonight on the blue brand. Alexa tried to cheat right there by putting her feet on the rope. But Mickey James was able to kick out at two. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. Well, folks, congrats to Alexa Bliss on winning this match. And Alexa Bliss won her hand raised twice. The SmackDown Women's Champion making a statement here tonight. 
on the blue brand. Folks, in two weeks, there will be a tag team match to determine the number one contenders for the SmackDown tag team titles. And whoever wins this match will advance to that match in two weeks on SmackDown. Here come the Hardy Boys. This is the first time ever since season one where the Hardy Boys will be on SmackDown. The Hardy Boys, multi-time SmackDown tag team champions in season one. Whoever wins this tag team matchup tonight will be one step closer to becoming number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. The Hardy Boys, former SmackDown Tag Team Champions in Season 1, former Raw Tag Team Champions in Season 2, also their former Raw Tag Team Champions in Season 3. They look to become Tag Team Champions someday here in Season 4. The Hardys and Gallows and Anderson are some of our newest members here on SmackDown. And there's Gallows and Anderson right there. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson, the club. Gallows and Anderson are former SmackDown Tag Team Champions in Season 2. And they're also former Raw Tag Team Champions last season and Season 3. So both of these teams, they know what it's like to be Tag Team Champions. One thing these two teams have in common, they have held both the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team titles. Gallows and Anderson were split from AJ Styles in the WWE Draft. Styles remained on Raw, whereas they were sent to SmackDown. Fans behind the Hardys tonight as they chant delete for Matt Hardy. Reference to Bill, and here we go. Gallows is going to start things out against Matt Hardy. These two locking up. And Gallows slamming Matt Hardy. What an elbow there by Gallows. Now Matt Hardy slamming down Gallows. Now Gallows countering. Going for a sec, that was kind of a Matt. Now can Matt Hardy lift the big man? No, oh, what a knee. There's a suplex to Matt Hardy. Now Gallows is dragging Matt. Elbow right to the chest. Another one. And another elbow by Gallows. Folks, Matt Hardy is in trouble. That was kind of by Matt Hardy. And Matt Hardy with a bulldog to Gallows. Now Matt has a hold of Gallows. Plus Gallows in the corner. There's a tag to Jeff. Irish whip, drop toe hold, elbow right to the back. Elbow right to the back. Oh, what a strike by Gallows. Oh man, Gallows. Oh, what a fall away slam. Back breaking, folks. Jeff Hardy is in trouble. Now Gallows has a hold of Jeff. Puts Jeff in the corner. There's a tag to Carl Anderson. Oh man, Anderson off the ropes. Oh, what a kick! 
And down goes Jeff Hardy. Answer the cover. Oh man, that was a fast count, Ref. My goodness, that was a fast count, Ref. But Jeff kicked out of two. Oh man, what a driver there. Into the cover. Now that count was slower. There's a strike. A strike by Anderson. And there's a neck breaker. There's a counter by Jeff. Jeff with an Irish whip. And Jeff with a vertical atomic drop. Now Jeff has a hold of Carr Anderson. There's Anderson in the corner. There's a tag to Matt. And what are the Hardy Boys thinking? Double Irish whip. Double elbow. Oh man, what a double team maneuver. On Carr Anderson. Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but a kick out of two. There's a kick by Matt. Oh, what a chop by Matt. Now Matt Hardy with a power slam. There's a stunt by Matt. There's another stunt right to the back. Now slamming that arm of Anderson down to the mat with authority. There's a strike. Another strike. Oh man! Matt Hardy just taking down Carl Anderson. There's a strike. There's a counter by Anderson. I went for a boot was Anderson. That was counter. Oh man, counter by Anderson. And Anderson with that cutter. Cutter on Matt. Into the cover. One, two, three. No, a kick out. My goodness, that was a near fall. That was a close one. Oh man, what a face buster by Matt Hardy. Let's we'll start by Matt Hardy. This is locking up here. Anderson pushing Matt Hardy away. There's a counter by Matt. There's a kick by Matt. There's an arm drag. And Anderson with a spine buster. Into the cover. Is that going to be enough? No. Matt Hardy just barely surviving. Now folks, Matt Hardy is in a world of trouble. There's a tag to Gallows. Irish whip. And there's a big boot by Anderson. The folks, Matt Hardy is busted open. Into the cover is Gallows. That's two. Oh, but a kick out at two by Matt Hardy. There's a backbreaker by Gallows. Wait a minute, Matt Hardy. What a counter. Now Matt Hardy picking up Gallows. He has a hold of Gallows. There's Gallows in the corner. He has a tag to Jeff. He has a strike by Matt. And now Jeff Hardy taking out Gallows. There's a counter. Oh man, the folks just ain't good. Gallows. Flapjack. A flapjack right to Jeff Hardy. Is that gonna be enough? That's two. Oh, but Jeff able to kick out of two. Folks, so far with a tag team match. Hitting right on SmackDown. Oh, what a strike there. There's a counter. There's a kick. And Jeff, twist of fate. The twist of fate to Gallows. One, two. Oh, but Gallows able to get that shoulder up at two. Oh, one for an elbow. But Gallows got out of the way. There's a suplex to Jeff. And Jeff makes the tag to Matt Hardy. In comes Matt. Oh, and Matt got caught with a big boot. And there's a big splash. 
into the cover now. That's two. Oh, but Matt Hardy powers out at two. And now Giles was perhaps going for a power bomb, but Matt Hardy able to counter. And there's a form that just could have knocked Gallows out cold. There's an Irish whip. And there's a bulldog, and folks, Gallows is busted open into the cover. Ref needs to count. And Carl Anderson breaks up the pin. There's a strike. There's a kick. Into the corner. There's a tag to Carl. Double Irish whip. And a double flapjack. Into the cover is Carl Anderson. That's two. Oh, but a near fall. Oh, what a strike by Matt. There's a punch. Another punch. Over the top rope goes Matt. But Matt hangs on. And now Anderson. Can he lift Matt Hardy back into the ring? Yes, he can. Oh, it's stuck there by Matt. Now Matt Hardy. Side effect. The side effect. But how much did that take out of Matt Hardy? Into the cover. That's two. Oh, but a kick out of two. And Jeff taking advantage of Gallows with that Russian leg sweep. There's a kick. There's a snapmare. Elbow right to the top of the head. Oh, man. Matt Hardy just hangs the answer up on the top rope. There's a tag. Iris whip. Drop to hold. Elbow to the back. Oh, what a kick there by Anderson. Now Anderson has a hold of Jeff Hardy. Puts Hardy in their corner. There's a tag. Iris whip. Frederick Tomic dropping. There's a big boot by Anderson. Oh, to strike the Gallows. Gallows stun on the rope. And Hardy throws Gallows outside the ring. What is Hardy thinking? Jeff Hardy off the ropes. And Hardy with a jockey through the ropes taking out Gallows. Take another look at this. Look at that blood on the forehead of Luke Gallows. Fans sending. This is awesome. And I agree. Well, so far, what a tag team match here tonight on the blue brand. There's an elbow. And there's a leg drop by Jeff Hardy. There's a counter by Gallows. And Gallows with a big boot. Now Gallows has a hold of Jeff Hardy. Look at that blood. My goodness. Now Gallows knocks Matt Hardy off the apron. Folks, could this be the beginning of the end? Here's a tag. Oh, man. Gallows and Anderson hits the magic killer. Into the cover. One, two, three. But Jeff kicked out. Jeff kicked out. And there's a neck snap by Anderson. How in the world did Jeff kick out of the magic killer? The SmackDown Tag Team titles mean that much to Jeff Hardy. And Hardy with a kick. Twist of fate. The twist of fate. There's a tag to Matt. And Matt with a kick to the back of the knee. 
There's a strike by Anderson. Irish whip. Oh, what a punch by Matt Hardy. Another punch. Another one. Arm drag by Anderson. Went for a kick that was counted. Matt spins him around. There's a kick. Twist of fate. The twist of fate. Down goes Gallows. But Matt Hardy ain't going for the pin. Matt tags in Jeff. Now Jeff gonna go to the top rope. Carl Anderson is laid out. Jeff swan time bomb. Into the cover. That's two and that's three. The Hardy Boys get the victory here tonight. And the Hardy Boys are one step closer to becoming the number one contenders for the SmackDown tag team titles. There will be another tag team match next week between two other tag teams. And the week after that, the winners of those tag team matches are going to be Hardy Boys versus some team. And they're going to battle it out to see who become the number one contenders to the SmackDown tag team titles. The winners of that match will face the Usos at the Backlash pay-per-view. Folks, this was a bloody battle, but the Hardy Boys get the victory. The Hardy Boys had to dig down deep tonight, but they defeat Gallows and Anderson, and they become one step closer to become the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next is our main event as Shinsuke Nakamura battles Jimmy Uso. Shinsuke Nakamura faces Roman Reigns at Backlash for the WWE Championship. But tonight, Shinsuke Nakamura must go through Roman Reigns' cousin, Jimmy Uso. Main event time here tonight on the blue brand. As here comes the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura is the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Nakamura won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal this past weekend at WrestleMania. Therefore, getting a world title opportunity of his choice. And he chose to go after the WWE Champion Roman Reigns. The show kicked off tonight with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns was saying that he is the tribal chief and everyone on SmackDown will have to acknowledge him. And then that's when Shinsuke came out. Shinsuke told Roman, I won the Andre the Giant Warrior Battle Royal and I'm coming after your title. And the match between Shinsuke Nakamura and Roman Reigns was confirmed earlier tonight. And it will happen in three weeks at the Backlash pay-per-view. Shinsuke Nakamura said he's going to bring the WWE Championship home for all the fans. And he said the WWE Championship has eluded him in his career. And he said he must have it. And here comes the Samoan Dynasty. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds. One half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy. This is very interesting. These three men right here, Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, and Jey Uso, they were the only people at WrestleMania who retained their titles. The Usos are very dominant, and so is Roman Reigns. They were the only champions who retained their titles. The Usos have been the SmackDown Tag Team Champions 
since the payback pay-per-view of last season. They have been champions for almost a year. No one in Universe Mode history has held a championship a year. Will the Usos be the first? It's going to be a first time ever matchup here in Universe Mode between Roman Reigns and Shinsuke Nakamura at Backlash. From the looks of it, it, look, it looks like the fans are behind Jimmy Uso, surprisingly. The referee reigns the bear here, and our main event is underway. These two locking up. It's that post WrestleMania atmosphere. There's a punch by Jimmy Uso. Now Shinsuke with a counter. There's a start by Shinsuke. There's a counter by Jimmy. Oh, what a super kick to the gut. Oh, what a knee by Shinsuke. Now Shinsuke Nakamura with a sit out power bomb. Is that going to be enough? That's two. Oh, a kick out of two. What a counter by Jimmy Uso, and there's a form taking down Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, what a form by Shinsuke. Now Shinsuke, perhaps going for that set out power bomb again, but Jimmy Uso counters. And there's an elbow right to the chest. Irish whip, and there's a form into the corner. Now Uso going to the middle rope, but Shinsuke catches him with a kick right to the ribs. There's a kick to the back. Oh, what a strike by Jimmy Uso. Irish whip. And there's that splash into the corner again. Oh, wait a minute. Shinsuke got his knees up. Shinsuke was able to get his knees up. I thought Uso hit him. But Shinsuke got his knees up. Oh, what a strike there by Jimmy Uso. Now, Shinsuke stunning that corner. Oh, man. Jimmy Uso with that running hip attack into the corner. Hooks the leg of Shinsuke Nakamura. That's two. Oh, but Shinsuke kicks out of two. Oh, what a forearm by Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, what a kick by Shinsuke, and down goes Jimmy. What a kick. There's a counter by Jimmy. Counter by Shinsuke. Shinsuke with a strike. Now Nakamura with that overhead throw. Into the cover is Shinsuke. That's two. Oh, a kick out. Now Uso sits up. Oh, what an elbow. There's a kick by Shinsuke. Shinsuke with a kick. Kinshasa, no, a counter. A counter by Jimmy Uso. Irish whip. Oh, man. Oh, what a super kick. He threw Shinsuke in the air and super kicked him. My goodness. One, two, three. No, Shinsuke just barely got the shoulder up. I agree with the fans. This is awesome. That was one of the best super kicks of Jimmy Uso I've ever seen. And there's a clothesline. And now Shinsuke using the ropes to put himself up. There's a clothesline over the top rope. Now Uso, Uso off the ropes, and Uso over the top rope taking out Shinsuke. Uso going Uso crazy. And folks, for the second time in this match, Jimmy Uso has the fans chanting, this is awesome. Back into the ring goes Shinsuke. 
Elbow right to the back. No way to win Shinsuke Nakamura. Countering Jimmy Uso. And Shinsuke with a knee. Shinsuke into the cover here. That's two. Oh, but a kick out of two by Jimmy. There's a kick. And now Shinsuke Nakamura with a sit out power bomb again. What a strike. And Shinsuke with a back suplex. And Uso wisely rolls to the outside of the ring. Wait a minute, Shinsuke going to the top rope. Shinsuke. And Shinsuke Nakamura taking out Jimmy Uso. And that took a lot out of Shinsuke Nakamura as well. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Roman Reigns. Oh, come on now. Roman Reigns saying something to Nakamura. And Shinsuke Nakamura taking down Roman Reigns with an STL takedown. Back into the ring goes Jimmy Uso. What a counter by Shinsuke. There's a counter by Jimmy. Strike by Shinsuke. Another strike by Shinsuke. Another strike by Shinsuke. Counter by Jimmy. And Jimmy with a super kick to the gut. Now look at Jimmy. Oh man, going after that leg. Putting pressure on that back of Shinsuke Nakamura. Is Nakamura going to tap out here tonight? Nakamura has nowhere to go. The ropes are nowhere in reach for Shinsuke Nakamura. There's no way possibly he can get there. Oh, but Shinsuke with a counter. And Shinsuke with a huge knee right to the gut. There's a counter. And there's a super kick to Shinsuke. My goodness. And now Shinsuke Nakamura laid out as Uso goes to the top rope. And Jimmy Uso with the Uso splash into the cover. That's two. Oh, but Nakamura kicks out. How in the world did Nakamura kick out of that? And now Uso going after that official. That's no way to act, Uso. My goodness. There's a counter by Nakamura. Now Nakamura with a kick. And Nakamura with the Kinshasa. The Kinshasa. The referee regaining consciousness into the cover. One, two, three. Folks, Shinsuke Nakamura has defeated Jimmy Uso. Jimmy Uso cost his own self the match. Jimmy Uso would attack the official. And then we tried to go to Shinsuke. Shinsuke caught him with the Kinshasa and pinned him one, two, three. Great match between Shinsuke. Look at that super kick. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. That was the best part of this matchup tonight. What a great match between Shinsuke and Jim Uso hitting out on the blue brand. But what a show tonight in general. Shinsuke Nakamura gains momentum going into his championship match against Roman Reigns at Backlash. But folks, we're out of time. Good night, and I will see you all for the first edition of NXT tomorrow night.